guys, it's me, Cody. Today, today we are going to be destroying these 10 Windows 10 virtual PCs with flipping computer viruses. And make sure, do not try this at home, because you could end up in jail, depending if you don't know what you're doing. Thank God, I know what I'm doing. Basically, you have to, like, disconnect from the internet. That's my number one. Make sure your shared folders is off so it doesn't spread to your main PC. And make sure your virus and threat protection is disabled, even though that's not important, but it's, they would just block you from installing viruses and on the internet because it could start spreading through emails. Please come to your house and you're screwed. And shared folders, and if you have shared folders enabled, it could spread to your main PC. So, why don't we boot up Windows 10 number one? And then we're going to click yes. And while we're booting up, we're going to right click and go to settings and disconnect from our internet. I'm going to go both turn off the connection. My shared folders is mostly disabled already. See, we're booting up currently. And then we're going to have to turn off the virus and threat protection. We'll be destroying 10 computers in this video with computer viruses. See, we got a nice clean Windows 10 installation. I got very important files like my current money and my home address I put in there for fun. Make it more extreme for us. Now we're going to go to the virus and threat protection. Manage settings and turn the weapon protection off in the cloud delivered as well. Turn it off. And now we can drag our computer viruses into here. Sometimes they're not going to drag, so we're just going to copy it instead. That works. Okay, Windows 10 is so much bloatware. Right. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can go on the full screen. We're gonna just keep going two, 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 two. We're gonna go two each because I don't want to make this video super long. This is part one. So one, one, two. We're starting off with the Barry Lilium or Barry Lilium virus. I know that virus is not really popular. I also know that I've tried it before, and it's um kind of loud. So why don't we? Wait, the virus is already on. Wait a second. What's going on? Oh, my volume's down. Let me turn that up a little bit. I guess that works. Barry Lilium. Do you want to allow the tap for unknown publishers to make changes to your drive? Yeah. Okay, Barry Lilium. The software you just execute the software you just execute is considered malware. This is malware harm. Your computer make it unusable. And if you're seeing this message without knowing what you just executed, simply push no, nothing will happen. We know what the software does, and you're using a safe environment. I know what the software is. I'm using a safe environment because I'm a smart creator over here. Because I know a lot about computers. I know what to do. And then press yes, sir. Do you want to execute this malware results in an unusable machine? Yes. This is the last warning. The creator is not responsible for any damage using this malware. Still executed. Um, we're gonna, not going to turn that on. And yeah. I have run ran this virus before, so I'm not surprised on what's happening right now. And our next one will be like chlorine 2.0. Our next virus is chlorine 2.0, which I know that one doesn't have much, but epilepsy. This is this is a virus. That's crazy. No, I know what I'm doing. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't do this. You need to be pretty smart. I thought we ran this before. This is pretty cool. Okay, my dog's growling from now. I need to turn the volume down. Just a, just a tiny bit. <laughs> I like the beat, though. Oh, I left my volume up. Oh my god, my volume's stuck. Oh, dude, I can barely click. Oh my god, my volume's stuck. I can't close my volume bar. Oh, it's trying... Yeah, I definitely know this. I literally just used this virus like a couple hours ago. I know what I'm doing, so... This is a cool computer virus. That's pretty cool, bro. Our next virus will be Chlorine 2.0. This is insane. I'm in for another haircut. Today is January 2nd, 2023. Uh... Oh, something's calling my number. Hit the phone. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Okay. 
my god, this is so unusable. No, I can't do anything. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 too loud. Too loud. I can't even use this what? machine. It's unusable. This is insane. Epsilipsy warning. Yeah. Yeah, no, he hasn't been there. Alright. Alright, bye. Oh, my eyes. Can we restart the machine? Show them the name of the virus. God, I can't. Just start. <coughs> That's insane. Did it destroy the flipping boot? It destroyed the booster. Also, shout out to Crypto and WL. He's a virus maker. This is inspired by him. Credit to him. Also, shout out to Pancoza for making most of these viruses. Not all of them. There's a couple viruses that are not made by him, but most of them are made uh, by the Pancoza guy. We just d obliterated computer number one. So now we can just force power this off and send it to the Shadow Realm. And we can open up virus or Windows 10 number two. And while we're booting up here, we're gonna make sure our shared folders is disabled. Always check and then disconnect. From the internet. I don't want to go to jail. I'm going to click OK. OK, it's still booting up. Because these are actually clones. This is the beauty right here. Cody rocks my PC. That, that's what I use to clone them all. But it still behaves the same as a normal PC. So, this literally virtual machine is a real PC, but it's a virtual PC. It's a real OS, but a virtual PC. It's an invisible PC out in this world. All right, we're going to go distant. CMDs. Let's go disable the virus and threat protection. Okay, we're gonna manage settings and turn the frickin' real-time protection off. Hell yeah, hell yeah, turn that off too. Okay. We just, oh yeah, I can drag it in. It actually lets me drag it in instead of having to copy it. Alright. The next virus we're gonna do, I'm going by order, so two more away from Barry Lilium, is Chlorine 2.0. Chlorine 2.0, I guess we're gonna run it. Here we go again. Our warning kind of sign. We're going to turn the volume down just a little bit. Warning, you're about to run chlorine.exe version 2.0. That will damage your system. Creator is not responsible for any damages made use of the source. So we're on it. Only warning, I don't know how to make a second one. I am out. Yeah. What happens? Am I going to get jump scared? Hey. What's this? Oh. What the? What the fudge? Bro. Listen to that. Listen to that. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, X's. X's. Holy crap, I can fill the whole screen. Oh, it's actually bending. It's actually bending. Look at my applications. Oh, my cursor's not trapped. Oh crap. Oh, absolutely warning. Absolutely. Oh. Bro. Ooh. We're literally eight minutes into recording. We're already going insane. Can we restart that before I damage my eyes? Restart. Holy cow, bro. That's insane. Bro. That's crazy. Did it destroy that boot sector? I mean, really. And there it goes. The fucking boot sector of the goddamn computer. Inspired by Crypto and W. Oh, shout out to Crypto and W. O. Channel his channel link will be in the description. And shout out to Pancoza for making most of these viruses, but not all, but most of them. Force power that off. We've just obliterated this computer. Get it out of here. Now we're gonna get on number three. By right, computer virus number three. Power it on. Connect any device as possible. Settings. Turn off the connection. Shared folders is already disabled for us, like usual. Currently powering up our next machine to go turn off virus fire protection. Then <laughs> the virus. We're logging in to my beauty PC. So I got my home address and everything. I just opened it. I'm not going to show you my current money. That one's not that extreme. I have two hundred sixty dollars right now. I'm going to be buying a new computer monitor soon because I this me. This monitor will go to my Think Sentry down there, which is going to be my school PC and my normal personal PC, because this will just be for gaming. This is the PC, my main PC down here I use for it. You know, this is my main PC right here. This beauty I use. See, this is what I'm running on right now. That's the beauty. Alright, so we got to go disable virus and threat protection. 
virus and threat protection and its settings. Turn it off. Yes, sir. I need to turn that off too. Her. Right. Itch. All right. Bringing the viruses. Hey, let me drag them again. Thank you very much. What was our next virus? It's two more away from Quarantine 2.0. Two more away from that is Kipper. Kiffer. Kiffer. Whatever this one is. It doesn't even have a, a normal logo. It's Kiffer. The code execution cannot proceed because you're dull something. VC runtime. Oh. Well, this virus cannot run. So I guess we'll do three more from that one. And we're going to do... Okay, so it's dot dill dot dll files are missing so the chlorine 2 probably will go to three we'll make it the coffin 32 virus oh no that's copyright bro copyright i'm gonna get copyrighted no 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 don't get me copyrighted no no i just shut the computer off shut it off i hope this video didn't get copyrighted i don't like being copyright i don't want to get a strike it didn't destroy the boot sector it's actually booting it didn't destroy the flippy boot sector. We can run another virus for once. We can run another virus on this thing. So apparently today we're going to be just... We didn't destroy this one. So basically we haven't destroyed uh, this computer yet. We have to destroy this computer. That's what this video is about. Oh, it's still loading. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. It turned its... The real time protection turned itself back on. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Allow on device. Okay. This is an... Oh, my God. Allow on device and start the actions. I have to do this for everything? Allow. Allow. Oh. Oh, it's only three now. Allow. Hey. It just keeps adding. No. I hate you, virus and threat protection. Why do you always turn yourself back on? Start the actions. Alright, that's better. The virus and threat protection literally... Why can I not close it? Literally turned itself back on, and I had to click allow on device for everything. But now, two more. Why don't we refresh this? Right, so two more away from the coffin. 32 is COVID-20. Watch COVID-20. Your PC has coronavirus, and wallpaper has been replaced with anime crossover thing to carry your PC. Delete system 32. <sighs> Alright, so basically this is destroyed. We keep clicking this, but what happens if we restart the computer? Can we restart it? It's restarting. It literally replaces itself with an anime wallpaper. Anime is weird. <sighs> I don't like anime. Oh my god, it's booting. This computer doesn't want to get destroyed. Oh yeah, I bet the virus of threat protects is going to turn itself back on again. Oh, hurry up. Come on, quick. Here goes it. Go quick, go quick, go quick, go quick. It's going to turn itself back on. Load. No, it didn't. I don't think it turned itself back on. Hurry. Hurry. It turned itself back on. Screw you. Oh my god, I canceled it just in time. Okay, so basically this is the computer virus. I guess we could just... I guess we destroyed that computer. Apparently, yeah. So we're just gonna send that PC to the Shadow Realm. Now it's gone. Open up number four. Boot this one up next. And we'll be good. 13 minutes in the recording. We're gonna go disconnect from the internet. I don't wanna go to jail because if we don't disconnect it from the internet, I'm screwed. Oh crap, I didn't check for shared folders. Okay, it's disabled. It's probably always disabled. Okay. Virus and threat protection. Virus and threat protection. Manage settings. Turn the flipping protection off. Turn cloud deliver to it. Turn these all off. Maybe that will help it not turn itself on after reboot. That will help a lot. And now we go to the virus. Oh, it's not dragging. It doesn't want to drag. It just has a... Oh, it, it wants to drag. It's going to drag. Yes, there we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Hey, okay, back to the viruses. Okay, two way away from COVID-21. Two is COVID-22 buggy. COVID-22 1.0 buggy. Guess we can run it. Yes, sir. Do you want to install COVID-22 in your PC? Press any key to continue. Yes, sir. One file's copied. Oh. You're about to be signed out. COVID-22 installation complete. Say bye to your system. Okay. 
This is the COVID. Oh, wait, I'm saying the C word that is out in this world right now. Well, at least I'm not saying 2020. COVID's pretty much dead. COVID-19. Don't listen to me on that, YouTube. I swear to God, if you demonetize me because this is not a monetized channel. I only have 12 subscribers. And I need like a thousand subs to be monetized. I still don't want to be claimed. Copyright claim. Because I could get striked for it. Because I've ha got a strike from a claim before. So this is the COVID virus, apparently. Can I open something? Can I open my home address? Yeah, I'm not going to show you guys that. Can I open Chrome? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Here we go again. It turned itself back on. I thought it wouldn't. Oh, wait. Turn off, turn off protection. Turn off protection. Or Allow on device. Start the actions. Okay, good. So it looks like I could still use Chrome. I'm not going to go on YouTube. I don't want to get my account hacked because it's actually running by this account. So this is the freaking computer virus, but everything seems to work. Literally everything. My pictures. I got pictures on here still. I still got the pictures, so I'm not experiencing a problem. But basically, this is the COVID-22 virus. I guess we obliterated that computer. I guess we can send it to the shadow room. Force power off. Remove it. Send it to the shadow room. Send it away. Open it up, Windows 10. Number 5. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna disconnect from the internet. Disconnect. 100%. And after this virus, you guys are gonna have to wait for part 2, which I'll make later on today. Because I'm going to take a break for a little bit after one more computer virus of this video. Because I'm going to take a break for, for a little bit and do some other stuff. I have other stuff to do today. So we're going to go ahead turn the layer. Maybe we get a little bit lazy. We're going to turn off the virus and threat protection. Just going to take a small break. Turn that off. Turn this off. Okay. Now we can bring in our computer virus. Wait, did I disconnect from the internet? Okay, yes I did. That's good. It's fine. Oh, I didn't check for shared folders. Okay, good, it's disabled. Put it in. Yay. Get it in. Put that in there. Okay, your next one is two way two more away from the COVID 1.0. That's Death Installer. That looks pretty not fun. Yeah, I wanna watch it. Congratulations. You Whoa! Mwahaha, you're about to be signed up. Congratulations, you opened me. Now let's play a game. Oh, 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 oh. It's actually restarting the PC. What's gonna happen? Windows logo appeared. It's actually booting. Bro. Windows 10. Oh dear. Yeah, I think we broke in this computer. That's a nice gaming wallpaper right there. I can, I, if I can find that picture, I may make it as my wallpaper. Run away. Death installer. Sorry, what happened to my PC? Remove viruses. Oh, whoa. Whoa, what's, oh my god, the icons. So who are you? I'm the death of your PC. What happened to my PC? Your PC is infected with the death installer Trojan. Okay, I guess we can just move this to the side. All the applications. This app can't run on your PC. It can't run on your PC. And I open a file. And I open a folder. Oh my god, it doesn't open. Oh, it opened. It opened. Can I go through my pictures? I can open a picture. Okay, I was able to open the picture. 2013. 2013. I can open a couple pictures. They say your files are encrypted, but they're not really encrypted. You can still open them, just your PC's kinda... Kinda unorganized. What if we restart it? Restart. Maybe something will happen to the boot sector? It didn't destroy the boot sector. So apparently, they keep opening the viruses, it just comes up. And it's just gonna keep opening the virus again. We still got four more computers to do after. The, well, we got five more. This is our fifth computer we've destroyed. Okay, so basically. Oh, oh dear. 
the recycle bin is in the wrong area, I must fix it. What if I try to run one of these as administrator? Yep, you're on your PC. Oh. Remove virus. You can't remove the virus. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright. Now we're going to go and send this to the Shadow Realm. Because it's basically just going to keep doing the same thing over and over again. And guys, you guys could stay tuned for part two. We got these. One, two, three, four. We got five more computers to do in the next video on part two. This was part one of installing some computer viruses. See you in part two.